Hi, I'm Barry Anderson, Precision Technology Agronomist with Ag Leader. It's great to have you here today, and I'm going to help try to answer one of those million dollar questions that many of you are probably trying to answer dealing with nitrogen leaching or nitrogen loss because of all the rain that we've been getting. And in here on the research farm that we have, we have been, we got some areas that, you know, we just can't get the water off quick enough because of all the rain that we had. And we've had a lot of rain, very similar to what probably you have on your farm as well. You got to remember the importance of nitrogen. And I think all of you, uh, all of us know how important nitrogen is to a growing plant. Um, you know, there's two major sources of nitrogen. One is atmospheric. Maybe you haven't thought about how much nitrogen is actually in the atmosphere. The other big component is the organic matter. And you probably don't realize too that even in organic matter, even in our soils themselves, we probably have hundreds, if not even close to a thousand pounds of organic, of, of nitrogen per percent of organic matter, which is huge. The problem is it's not accessible to, all of that's not accessible to the growing plant. But what I wanna to try to address here briefly is dealing with nitrogen leaching what it is and its impact. But before I get into the leaching, I first wanna talk just briefly um, and just make mention of some other sources of nitrogen loss. As I've already said, leaching is one of them. Denitrification is another. Volatilization is another one as well. And then also harvest and runoff and erosion. And with the rains and stuff that we've been, been having, um, we probably even have some of that runoff and the erosion that's happening too. So there could be a potential even loss depending on how much is happening out there in the field. So what is leaching? Basically, you know, it's, it's the process that nitrogen has to go through, the source that we're putting on, but it, once it becomes in, into the nitrate form, then it has that potential to leach. And so depending on your soil type, whether you have a light, medium, or a heavier texture soil, the advantage of having a heavier texture soil in these conditions is that it holds the water, and if it holds the water, it holds the nitrogen too. Um, but on the other side, when you have a light soil, um, in conditions like this, it's not a good thing because the water does not, the, the, the lighter soils just can't hold the water like a heavier texture soil. So when the water basically moves through that soil, it's carrying the nitrogen with it or the nitrate with it. And the key, the question that we're trying to answer, the question that you're trying to answer is probably trying to figure out, okay, do I still have the nitrogen there? Is it still in my root zone or is it below my root zone? And I tell you right now, we're coming into one of the key times in the, in the growth of the corn plant, that V9 to V12. That's when your curve on the nitrogen cycle is really becoming steep. Um, and that's why kind of where the corn is right now. I mean, we're gonna get a lot of the corn plants that are gonna be tasseling here before the 4th of July. But that, um, that's one of the key things that we need to try to get figured out. Denitrification is basically when you have water that's standing on your fields, and it's got to be standing there probably for at least two to three days before you have the potential for denitrification. But there again, it's that conversion of that nitrogen source into a gas that escapes. So that's denitrification. Volatilization has more to do more with the, the nitrogen that you're using, and there again, it depends on the source. Um, it's one thing if you're putting anhydrous on versus a UAN, and a lot of time when it comes to volatilization has to deal with more with urea just because of how urea and the components that make up urea. Um, there again, volatilization is just that the loss of the nitrogen um, volatilizing because of heat. And believe me, with the heat that we're having is one of those things. So what is the impact if we have the, the leaching? Well, I have a good example of here what, <laughs> what it actually looks like. You know, you start seeing um, the impact of leaching or the, the impact of the loss of nitrogen. Um, in a corn plant, it happens on the older leaves first and then it moves into the, the newer leaves. So if you're happy to see a leaf that has you know, the yellowing along the edges and things, you're probably getting into more of a, a nitrogen deficit. And hopefully you're not to that point yet. But ways to try to remedy this, ways to try to figure out where you're at um, on how much nitrogen you still have in the soil. A couple suggestions is to do a, a soil sample. I would recommend doing a, a 0 to 12 inch and then a 12 to a 24 inch just to try to figure out where that nitrogen is and whether it's still in that root zone. Depending on how deep, of course, the roots are continuing to penetrate into the ground. Of course, with all the moisture we're having, it's probably not penetrating as deep as it would be on a drier year. But hopefully, we're, the roots are still in that zone that we can access and, and pull up that, the nitrogen that, that we need before we lose it. Some other strategies to think about in the future with dealing with nitrogen management, um, minimizing tillage. Um, you know, you got the cover crops that you can also add. 
crop rotation is another good thing. You know, when you got nit when you got soybeans or some other nitrogen um, fixing type crop, um, that's another way to help manage nitrogen um, within the soil itself. And so, anyway, um, you know, the potential out there. You know, if if you need some help, I would recommend going to a a service, a crop provider that you're probably working with or an independent crop consultant or another consultant out there to ask for their help or advice as well to be able to take a look at your crop, determine what the best steps are. Um, but hopefully today I was able to answer a few of those questions or at least maybe point you in the right direction. So I appreciate you joining us on this video today and I hope that the rest of the growing year is, it goes well for you. Thanks.